<clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just get going then, huh? What's up? What's up, Maddie? What's up, Elio? How we do doing? <sighs> what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Fix the cam. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pretty good, but I do have to take my car to the shop tomorrow. I think it's not a big deal. I think it's just a gas cap thing. We'll see. But you know, I need a oil change anyways. Any adulters in the chat? <clears throat> but yes, we got an Elio story. Here, I'll start from the beginning. Let's see. Went to the beach and it was good, but extremely bright for some reason. Having trouble with my vision. Disabled and can't do things barefoot or it can mess with my feet. I was like, whatever, and started there all day barefoot. Ouch. Can't drive. We'll finish the story later. I realize no one's here. Okay, we can wait if you want for more of the gang. There, We got some people here. And it could be for the botters. But how are we doing? We got, I hear a little clop clop, a little clopping in town. Been a busy couple weeks with music stuff. Been really fun though. Pop, let's pop, let's pop. Let's see how it pop. Click, click. <clears throat> How's everyone doing though? We're back in the chat. We're here for the weekly, weekly Frogville stream. Ah! Lose your minds. Michael married you up. Married up. Ringed up. Pretty badass. <clears throat> This was this. Got a clop clop. Mayor on a clop clop. Got a clop clop. Got to do the trot. See how a trot. I'm doing great, but I can't spoil the story. Okay. Hopefully not too too bad, but like a good Elio story. There's always a lesson. I feel. Feeling out of the Michael lore loop. Yeah. I don't know what is the lore. There's always lore to go through. Woo! FHQ. Beautiful meeting place and also secretive organization. There's a lot of lore. E man in the, in the game. Like that. Cool. Hopefully, we got a little lag spike there. There were two people who figured out how to get into FHQ. I can't I can't reveal their names. A few people have figured it out as far as it, or at least have gotten in by means that I can't track if they cheated or but what is Frogville? Frogville is uh it's basically just this city. I cannot focus on stuff right now. <laughs> um yeah, Frogville is this city that I made. Hey man, why are you confused? And yeah, we uh, make music and we do art stuff. And it's just, uh, it's Frogville. Falling hell yeah, I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, once a week I check on the town. I see what people have been doing in the town. It's a very large town. Oh, E-Man's looking for HQ. Let me see. Are you just wandering around, E-Man? Interesting, creative town. Yeah, it's like you can play however you want. Like, uh, a lot of people have shops, so you can run your own business. You can run a 7-Eleven whenever you want to run. <clears throat> you can make money. Or you can, uh... We have an academy, Frog Academy of Music, where you can make music. You have art galleries, showings, or uh, you can uh, do crimes and go to jail. But I don't advise that as much. And yeah, every week we meet at the town hall. 
we check the bulletin board, see what's new. It's kind of like Animal Crossing. Think of it that way, I guess. But with more crime, I guess, and more cool stuff to do. So let's see, what is new? Oh yeah, Bulby's Bulbs. I'll show you guys that. Bird hater job. We went over that last week. If you kill the birds, you can get money for it now, which is good. Just the evil birds. What constitutes a frogville crime? Uh, mostly just murder. We've had a few murder cases where we take uh, crimes to court. Uh, people have done jail time for sure. But uh, outside of like, you know, general destroying people's land and just not having fun with it, those people we just block from the server. But if it's like any serial murders? Huh, good question. I don't think there's been any serial murders. Usually once people do their time once, they don't murder again. And most of the murders, well, one of the murders was an accident, but there was a cover up and then we had to, that got revealed. So they still did some jail time because they lied about some things. But we had too much evidence. It was actually an accidental killing of my cat in the game. Um, yeah, it's a lot to uncover, but there's a whole museum if you want to catch up on the lore. Have you ever had a good murderer? Hmm, not really because it's kind of hard in Minecraft because everything is uh, traceable, so you couldn't really. But yeah, I guess a good murderer would be the accidental one was, you could say was good. Roger was good. Yeah, that's true, Roger. It was out of jealousy, and uh, Rogers kind of lost it, but ultimately did it because of a lack of love, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What's up, Gabe? Yeah, I don't know. A good murderer. But yeah, there's definitely been a lot of news stories. But yeah, the, the I used to be the mayor, but now Spooky Chameleon is the mayor. And we do weekly Muppet Facts. I'm going to read the Muppet Fact of the Week, and I'll check on Ethan to see. I think he's looking for FHQ. <clears throat> Alright, the, the character of Scooter, ooh, Scooter's epic, has had an interesting history of performers. Scooter was originated by Richard Hunt, by, but after his death in 1992, Scooter disappeared from all Muppet productions for about nine years still not getting proper roles until the 2011 Disney era. Scooter minor roles throughout the 2000s were done by people such as Adam Hunt, Richard Hunt's brother, Matt Vogel, the current performer behind Kermit, Big Bird, and many more, and even Brian Henson. It was in 2008 when David Rudman, close friend of Richard, was given the role of Scooter and other Hunt characters. I may have said 2000s when I also meant 1999. Close enough. Nice. It's a good fact. Scooter is epic. Didn't you have a scooter skin? Scooter skin going? Dethroned, yeah. But I did, so I'm not the mayor anymore, but I started uh, FHQ organization, which is kind of, can't give too many details on it. It's a kind of an underground. <laughs> um, uh oh, Butterboy spotted at Wildlife HQ. That's some deep lore. Um, yeah, I guess we'll check out Butterboys and Bulbies. Is a new thing. What did I add to up here? Oh, yeah, so we got some other parts of town that we're trying to develop. Underwater town, all we have is a crusty crab there. Kilk Co. We built the factory for Kilk, but we haven't um, built all the machinery or set up the shop infrastructure yet. South Frogville housing, yeah, I want to add some type of housing in South Frogville. West Frogville, that's going to be the cowboy town. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some late nights working on those. Is there an update to Mr. Poop? 
don't think so. All right. <clears throat> uh, look at the stars. Look at the birds. Here, let me TP to Ethan. Oh, I was gonna do that. Close. You hiding? <laughs> oh, you're in a hole. Hmm. Oh, you got came down here. Yeah, this is this is a dangerous place. Did you get attacked by anything down here? I heard there are some weird things down here. Actually, this is below Wildlife HQ. I have to make weapon. Left. Over here is where um, there's a leak in the labs under the HQ over here. But I saw something over here. What is that thing? What? Probably have a what in the oh god what are these things they're so ugly what are they rotten specimen uh oh that'd be good huh? watch out <laughs> they look angry and they're very ugly are uh, they're holding holding something Okay, maybe we should get out of here. No, this is not, unfortunately, not where we would go for FH. Yeah, these are the labs over here. Oh, we were already going to come over here anyways. Hold on. <laughs> Beauty is on the inside. <laughs> True. Uh oh. In a break. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'll I'll put you in the general area. Um, sorry. I have to talk to the. I have to check out the Butter Boys real quick. So this is the Wildlife HQ. It looks like the Butter Boys are here for some reason. I'm not sure why. Let's talk to him real quick. Yes, we are the Butter Boys. Do not mind our presence here. We are investigating this area. We received an anonymous tip. There may be some information regarding the location of Rotten Milk Kingdom here. If you learn something, come to our HQ in West Frogville. Okay. Yeah, they seem peaceful now. Um... They're kind of just checking out the area. I think we'll leave them alone. But yeah, this isn't where the hint is. I'll say... It's further south than this. So the hint... Is somewhere in this direction. Like facing the mansion. And for anyone that doesn't know... Uh, well, Ethan is trying to join FHQ, which the clue is in the HQ on the top, and it says something like, um, search to the south, at the center you'll find something amazing. That's spooky. Okay. Okay, we got a story going. We got a story rolling. Okay. So I went to the beach and it was good but extremely bright for some reason. I was having trouble with my vision. And I'm disabled and can't do things barefoot or it can mess up. Wait. Mess with my feet. And I was like, whatever, and walked there all day barefoot. But my eyes kept going completely black just in the outer half. Ouch. Anyways, we bought... A hermit crab, his name is Scabby, and he's in the pet channel. Oh, well, that's up. But I got home and was so sunburned, I don't, I didn't think anything of it. I've never been sunburned before, honestly. But I can't feel my feet, really, and so I have to be careful 
because I can't tell if something's wrong. I showered and was eating ice cream. All of a sudden, I couldn't stand. I uh, couldn't stand the pain, uh, and I couldn't get my shoes off. Ouch. I wear giant roomy boots, but they wouldn't come off, and then I finally got it off, and my feet were swollen, but I couldn't bend them. Then I couldn't get my parents awake, and I can't drive, but I was at the point I'd have to call an ambulance. Oh, no. Got a hold of a friend, and when we got there, they were so concerned, I rushed back right away, and they got it under control. Still having issues, and my vision is still bad, but you know, not ambulance bad. Oh good. Then I heard some crazy noises and scratches house. Right, as I was walking to bed and I was like, great, there's a mouse in my house. <laughs> From all that rat prevention. But it wasn't it was our new crab. Oh, so it wasn't all the rat depreventing you were doing. I also played Party Rock cover by Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh far, that's good. So not all bad then. Lesson of the story, never go to the beach in the East Pacific Northwest. Oh, never go to the beach in the East the Pacific Northwest is the only way to go. Also listen to album Alvin and the Chickmunks in the ER, it's fun. Nice. Oh, that's why the stream was Elio less. Alright. Alright, that was an Elio story. That we love. You guys should look up Alvin the Chipmunks Country Roads. Is it just uh, like an AI thing version? Sounds like it could be good though. The harmonies. Or is it real? I think either way it could be. Okay, next we gotta check out Bulbies. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know, the Butter Boys HQ is over here to the west. There's nothing really there now, but if you didn't know, there's just some of the Butter Boys here. I think they were talking about selling some milk in town sometime. High quality, nice. Um, one spontaneous build I did this week is Bulbies, bulbs, and lighting. So that is to the northeast by Best Buy, which is still not technically open, but it's still fun to browse through. But yeah, it's this light light bulb. I gotta re-organize uh, some stuff. But yeah, it's a light bulb. Let me just show you at night. It looks very bulbish. Um, is that Milena? So basically how I have it set up is um, now you anyone can buy light blocks. So if you didn't know, there's such things as light blocks that work just like torches, um, but they don't like take up space and they don't, um, they don't look like anything. It's like just the light. So that's how like some of these areas are lit up without torches or with these light blocks. So now I thought it would be a nice thing to give everyone access to. So you can buy, basically you can just trade in torches for the whatever light level. Um, so like super low light, you, le you need less torches and it's just raw gold to uh, convert them. But low buy. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd just be cool for people's builds if you don't want to use torches you can use uh, light blocks I think it'll let I'm pretty sure it lets anyone use light blocks right I don't think you have to be do they let you remove them in survival that's the question I guess would it let anyone remove any of them try it <laughs> I never thought of that actually no I don't think you can remove them you can place them so I guess that is the one bad thing, is if you place them, you can't remove them. But, you know, have me or a mod come and remove them. <laughs> I think you can remove them and placing over them. Oh, yeah. But then you would lose the block, I guess. So it is still survival friendly. That's good. So if you put a block there, 
it would remove the light. So that's cool. So if anyone wants that for their builds, you can have super dim lights. 15 is, I think uh, torches are like level 14. So it's a little brighter than a torch, but I just did it a straight up convert. And then as you go down lower levels, it just costs less torches to get a stack. So yeah, you can get real experimental with your lighting if you want like some dimly litted areas, but that are still above zero. You can use some of these, uh, maybe get smoother lighting that way too, you know. Kind of epic. <sighs> but yeah, that's Bulby's. This is Bulby. Bulby's bulbs. Bulby's bulbs lighting. And it's to the northeast of town. This is the Rock Academy HQ. I was talking about where we make. Nice to spawn proof without place. Yeah, because the torches get a little ugly. Nice. And that way you can like use torches more for decoration. It doesn't have to be just to like light an area up, you know? And like you probably don't. I guess if you use some of the less bright ones, you can make it like a little smoother brightness. Or however, however you think. Any ooh? Did you test out the tape, Gabe? Mini DB tape came in. I think I missed shooting. I lent Christian the D mini DV camera that we use. We split it for Fox Academy stuff, but then we um. We like switch off using it for like our own stuff but I also have a uh, like a night vision version of it but we dropped it in the swamp so it kind of works battery kind of freaks out sometimes but it's cool what's butter boys butter boys are those um, pumpkin head guys herb soda what's up Oh yeah, and I got a new skin, my FHQ suit. Felt like a new skin, I haven't switched out in a while. What's up, party people? Let's see what Ethan did Ethan Oh You went too far, Ethan. This is cool too. This is old. <laughs> chipmunk. Already rocked by the chipmunks. What is the best chipmunk? Forget where the isn't the oh the is this is it? Oh yeah, my Titanic. I don't want to move this into town. That was a fun stream. I need to do a Need to do another event. That's why I guess it This is funny. Guess you could technically use this to get money. <laughs> you could use this as a job. Is that a good deal? I guess it would be. Do you have an idea for an event I'm I'm up for making slash helping with the build? I need a new fun project. Yeah, I think I've been like too focused on like uh, connecting the events to like lore. But I think it is funner sometimes to just have like a crazy build like of an event to do like these, like the um like the haunted house or uh like the, the big sinking ship. That would be fun. Yeah, we just, I gotta think of a good idea. Fun. Yeah, I need a new, uh, new idea. It's been very, oh yeah, I forgot about this. 
I was doing some redstone tests here. <laughs> this is not supposed to Big builds needs events. They're just kind of pointless art projects. Yeah, but... I kind of like that too. It is cool when there's like an activity surrounded around it. So that's like all that work and then it's like experienced once and then that's oh I see. So hard to sit when you can't drink. Whoops. Oh no. Oh. Okay. A little stressful. <clears throat> I ordered Muppet Movie soundtrack record. Oh, you got the vinyl? Awesome. I feel like I saw that. I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like I would have taken a I did see like a, I know we, yeah, you talked to me about it. I did see like a baby Muppets figurine set thing at like, you know, popped in and out again. It was my, um, it was at like an antique mall. I don't know what it was, but it was like an in package kind of. I think it had like two figures in it or something. I don't know. I should have taken a better look at it. I'll be back there. But I also didn't want to make you make you jealous if it was a good thing. <laughs> Hoping to get the vinyl with the original poster that came with it. Um, but I gave up on trying to find a good priced one. Oh, and they were playing the Muppets movie there, I think, or they had it set up in the rotation. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. A thrift store or or Goodwill in Portland. Well, I can't, you know, I can't leak the sauce, but um, I'll tell you off stream. <laughs> but Big Goodwill is pretty good. The one where I shot the big, the Goodwill hunting video. Big Goodwill like on 6th or whatever, or whatever. It's good because it's big, but oh, bins, yeah. Which bins is the best? I think there's a good one. I like the Hillsborough one. I think it's Hillsborough, maybe Milwaukee. I get them mixed up. There's one by like train tracks, but the airport one is sometimes good. How to gatekeep the spots. Well, you know, I don't, I don't want to be spotted. Hey, Mike, have you seen the floating frog in magnetic field? No. No wood. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, no. What are you talking? About? Floating frog? Is it? A... Oh, watch on YouTube. I was like, where is magnetic field in Frogville? Oh, bird. <clears throat> Epic. Well, what now, guys? You want to play something? Or and go seek or anything? What's a gang down for? Remember where Lovi and I summoned your spirit to ask you something? Yeah, I remember that. That whole thing is still there, I think. 
over here. Built a lab there. Oh, interesting. Dorado Labs, nice. Wondering where you're gonna build the lab. This is where you're studying kilk. And papers. Just. Can I read this? <laughs> this does not seem like kilk science. Are you just clearing land? we do fights? Yeah, we can do fights. I don't think we can use the, uh, the dome without soiling, though. We could do, like, Sky Arena fights or just pick a, a place to do fights. We have a nice arena we want to use. Fights would be fun. <clears throat> I feel like the Sky Arena is fun, but it feels more like it's um, does who knock who off. It doesn't really feel as much like a fight, you know. We could do a fight at a the Kilk Factory. It'd be kind of funny. Because it's walled in. Or a fight on the moon. Kilk, kilk. You do death matches at the kilk. <laughs> I can make a fighting arena. <laughs> Kilk Union Workers vs. Kilk CEO Deathmatch. Kilk Fight Winner Gets Killed. Yeah. A lot of Kilk. <clears throat> All that Kilk. Do it on the roof of the factory. Fun. Need to build some ladder. I wish there was like iron ladders that would look like that. Look kind of like the iron bars, but you crawl, you climb them like a ladder. Crawl them. Fight on the moon. Fight on the moon. I'll fight on the moon much. To make any block climbable now? Really? What do you mean by that? Is that for real? Oh, there's one zoom imp. I thought the zoom imps all died. The last one. I know Zoom. Cool. Does it actually make the block climbable or does it just trick it into thinking it's a ladder? Let's see. Does it take any of its functions away? Or it's just like an added. I mean, it's stuff tag based. Ladders just have climbable. Add the tag to box it. That's cool. Oh, you just added it? You jump out. Might be too small, but I like the design. I guess for like a punching fight, it would be good. 
This fight, maybe. Be cool to do it with like slime blocks so it's bouncy. Bounce out. Stay in the ring. If you fall out, you lose. If you get knocked out or die, you lose. Good work. Kilk on my head, but don't call me a kilk head. Kilk on my head. That over there. Got someone looking at me. Flat legs. Flat little legs. I don't think that I lose... Um... Frogger Ball. I don't think that I lose my inventory when I die. Wanna do a fight? Wanna do a fight? Oh, let me... I guess we could do a countdown. You, okay, we're doing it. If you get knocked out, or if you get knocked out. We're just doing punching? Oh. 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 Did I fly? Did I fly at all? Should I take out my... Should I take off my... Oh god, my Electra. Ooh. Take my Electra off. G. GG. He wins. Everyone's healed up. Now I won't do weird flying things. Oh, oh geez. Oh, no! Oh! 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 <laughs> I almost got you there. I almost got you. TP. Okay. One more for a win, unless my queen clean her up. Oh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> oh God. I had him, had him up on the freaking, what do you call those? Wiki wins. That was pretty epic though. I, I do like it. We should make boxing ring area. I don't know how to even have fly enabled. But this does look good for a boxing ring, I'd say. I guess you could use it for anything. It would look cool at night with the birds. Gabe's turn. <laughs> You're getting called out, Gabe. Uh. 
the armor off. Watch. Oh. In this corner, we have Gabe the Mabe. In the other corner, the further away corner after these corners, we have Spooky Chameleon with the orange hat. Who will win? Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wait. Uh, fight. Uh, fight. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Ooh, it's gonna be a night fight. Oh, 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 to death. Ow, ah, I thought I healed everybody. That was brutal. I guess that round goes to Gabe. In your corners. Whatever ones you like, I guess. <laughs> four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three. Two. One. Go. Got birds. We got birds! We got freaking birds! The punching is out of control! How are they punching so much? They're punching! Punch to death! What the hell? That's evil! Two to zero. Let's give everyone a heal. Get ready. Five. Oh. Two. Two. On. Go. They're going freaking crazy. Oh! What the heck? How are you doing that much damage with their fists? I know how. Does that mean Gabe win? That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. It did look cool at night though. First to three wins, I, I see. Items. Hmm. I can give you a shulker box.
Brought me down to two hearts or less. Oh, so it was close. A lot more... My round had a lot more bouncing in it. I was doing a lot of, like, trying to fake out and trying to get under and hit up, you know? Tricky. That was your mistake, I guess, yeah. I was getting too creative. Sneaky. Gotta go for it. For the kill, I guess you just gotta lop them their head off. Makes sense. Anybody to fight, uh, Luki's in the ring. About that, Marie. Take off your armor, though. Yeah, there you go. What was that wetness sound? Four, three, two, one. Go! No! They're punching, they're punching, they're punching. Good lord, good god. It's a bloodbath. Good god. It's brutal. Oh, what the? What the heck happened? What in the? Unbuttered, oh. Nice. Very bland, I like it. I like the bland flavor. Ooh, that was close. Five. Four. Tres. Tus. Once. Fight! I did like our old, um... Like Super Smash Bros. style arena, I, I deleted it though. I want to make a new one. But there's just not a lot of, um... At least when we did it, there wasn't a lot of... Ooh, the wind goes a spook! Cam for the win! Got him, got him. Um, there's just not a lot of people when we did it who like fighting, I feel like. But I feel like it's been so quiet, maybe... People are thirsty for blood in a friendly competition way. I guess if we like planned it ahead of time and are like, oh, we're going to do this this week, like a big tournament instead of just randomly doing people ready. Okay. Ready. Four, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Very intense. I forgot who was who. I was like, do they change their skins? Oh! Oh my god. 
That two to two, two one. In the lead. Half a heart. Oh my gosh. Close match. Close match. Will we get a win or will we have a tiebreaker? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you can add a da da. You can da get that ga. Uh, who's gonna take home the win today? I like how I got knocked out of the ring every single time and I'm like the only one who's gotten knocked out of the... <laughs> oh! The GG. That win goes spooky, chameleon? Nice. I like that, I like that. I like that a lot, I like that a lot. Wait, well, I guess I could do one more round. Yeah, let me fight Gabe and the stream. And then, uh, then I'll uh, do definitely going to do a late night stream Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. Probably for some Zelda, maybe some more VHS. Three, two, one. I think I was also trying to get crits, which I don't know if you can crit with, um, I don't know if you can crit with, what you call it. Ooh. Ooh, I'm in, I'm in bed. Yeah, but it didn't seem to do me any good, yeah. Hey Rufus, we gotta feed Rufus before we go. How many hearts did you have, Gabe? Four. Damn it! <laughs> Here you go, Rufus. Please. Thought I was, thought I was going too hard on you. Died. On two. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot that we're, we do three rounds. Okay. If you say so. Up to five first to three wins. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? Okay, when you, you have to play boom blocks. That could be cool. I never played it. I thought it was isn't that a Wii game? Is that a game that I could play or I have to buy it? Oof. Seven hearts? There's no way. Do you hold down? Do you hold it down or are you clicking better? Is there not a difference? I click too. Hmm. Seems like I was obliterating you, but. So I'll just have to believe you had those that many hearts. 
It might be a burn match. Ooh. Get away from my freaking head. <laughs> That'll about do it. That'll about do it. Six and a half hearts. That's insane. <clears throat> okay. GG. GG anyways. Nice. Don't forget your box. You have to do a loser's bracket later. Of like only people who lose. It'd be epic. I definitely would be the lead of that bracket. Let me TP you to town. Oh. oh! I don't have time for a bracket. But we will definitely do it ne next time. I like that idea. We pop. We pop these guys. Go to town. And yeah, I'll see you guys Saturday. And we are getting very close to turning in the Fox Academy album. That's exciting. The mixes are almost done. Awesome. Um, I'll see you guys soon. All right, all right. Don't forget. Don't forget. Hey, don't forget. Hey, don't forget. All right. See you later. Have a good time. Have a good night.